<laughs> What's up with him? I mean, I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? You put his picture up and you tweeted out about him. You know, oh. he's a former dog loved around. I don't even control my own Twitter, so that's crazy. Somebody got my Twitter account and just be doing stuff. That's what you're sticking to? Nah, man, I, I played with Roquan for two years, man. He's, he's a monster. He's from Georgia. He played in Georgia, so I'm always uh, vouch for that guy, man, to come here. Hard worker he is, and he deserves whatever he's asking for. Of course, I want him here. If we got the money, I hope Arthur and Terry figured out to get that guy. Having Michael Vick out here today, what was that like? It was cool, man. You know, a lot of guys didn't even know, and when he came up, I mean, I seen him. You know, I, I observed a lot of things, and I seen that guy come, and it's awesome, man. He, he's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer in my book, so. It's awesome he came out and gave me his little knowledge at the end of practice. Watch you growing up. Like, were you a fan of his? Of course. I mean, if you weren't a fan of Michael Vick, you, if something was wrong with you, man. <laughs> Just a, you know, a, a quarterback, a, a black quarterback at that and things he accomplished, you know, throughout his years, you know, here in Philly. And it was just awesome to see that guy out here. What do you think about this offense so far with Devin and It's good, man. It, both of those guys got some wheels on them. You know, those guys love running. You know, it's going to be a lot, you know, it's new, it's different, you know, from Matt, no, no nothing against Matt at all. I, mean, I love Matt, you know, that's my guy, but those guys, you know, they, they, they can run. That's it. I mean, that's, those guys can run. Not said Matt couldn't run. <laughs> but those guys got a little more speed than Matt, so it's, it's, that's, that's all I can say. <laughs> so how does that make your offense having a quarterback that can run? Like, how dynamic does it make? Oh, man, I mean, sometimes it's going to make us mad, you know. Sometimes we might be open and the quarterback want to run, so we're going to be bumping heads a lot probably this season, so we'll see. Um, also, I think it's interesting, you probably talked about it already, I haven't asked you, though. Like, during camp, I just see you break and you go and sign autographs for fans. I mean, what is that like to be able to interact with them, and why during camp do you take the time and not after? I mean, <laughs> after I'll be trying to get home to my kids, you know, so, you know, doing practice, you know, I'll be free. I mean, I'm not in that period, so why not just go out there and just show my appreciation to those fans who are coming out you know, throughout the week and just, just show my love to those guys. See, is, there a, is there a thought as to how many touches you guys discussed, how many times they want to, obviously that was a closer game to game, but touches for you average touches for you in a game, is there a conversation about that? Honestly, you know, we haven't even had that talk, but I mean, if, if it's five touches a game and 10, 20, whatever, you know, I'm going to do it, man. Whatever, help, whatever I need to do to help this team win. You know, it doesn't matter. I got less touches this year. I mean, who cares as long as we win it, right? Can you tell me about are there just cleats you're wearing this rookie season, or is that something you're doing? <laughs> I know. I, I wear different cleats probably every day. I'm just, just all my cleats from last year. Just, just get them a last go around before I get all new ones this year. How much do you expect to play in this first preseason game? Have you kind of discussed you want to play the whole thing, or? If it's up to Art, I'll probably play a whole a half. So, who knows? Whole quarter probably. Or, whole game so we haven't even talked about it so I mean I don't know I mean I'm just prepared to go out there dress out and play so whatever he need out of me is, I'm gonna get it done I told those guys this morning I'm tired of seeing those guys each and every day I've been seeing them for three straight weeks it's time to see some other guys man get go against other guys CP I don't know if you've been asked this but what do you like about this offense so far through training camp I mean, honestly, it's the same offense. I mean, nothing really changed. You know, I mean, we expect the same thing as you know we do every year. You know, come in, just try to put up a lot of points, and most important, get the win, no matter how we get it. So, as long as we get a win, I'll be fine. How's it been with Marcus so far? It's great, man. He, he's a great guy. He's a great leader. You know, he he came here. You know, he was ready to lead this team, and you know that's what we need from your quarterback. You know, just come in, just take control. When you say he's a great leader, what have you seen from him that that makes you say that? I mean, just the way he, uh, he approached things, the way he, he take control of the huddle and everything. And just what we need, man, just, just a leader, man. I mean, you can tell the way, he, the way he carries himself, you know. And we all got high standards for that guy, and he know that. And we, we, we go as he go. Now you did say that you wear your cleats probably a different one every time. Is there, there's no repeat of the cleats, is that right? Ah, not during the season, you know. During the season, I have to wear something new. I need to stop. It's, it's a lot, but. It is what it is at this point. What goes into the design of each one of them? It depends on who we play in that week. You know, I just try to, I don't know. It just, it's a lot to talk about. It's a, we can sit here and talk for 30 minutes about that. <laughs>
too many. I wear a new one every game. No, I know you do. So, but besides that, I, I got a lot. Are they all stuck in like a room in your house? No, no, no. Heck no. I, I keep them back there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, today, I, can't, I don't know. I'm just feeling a little spooky. It's the last day of camp, so. They say it's the last day of camp, but it's really not. <laughs> uh, okay. what? You might have been asked this already. How much work do you think you actually need to be ready for week one? For week one? Yeah, like how much, like how much do you feel like you need? Probably three games or whatever. Oh, uh, I mean, like I said, whatever coach need. I mean, I mean. I mean, every place he want want me to get, you know, I'm gonna go out there and do it. I mean, he's he's the boss, he, he's in control. So we all, like he said, uh, everybody be be ready to play, you know. And that's what we all got our mindset on. That's for Friday, and, and we all will be ready. You know, you're a vet. You've been around a while. I didn't know if you. are like, all right, yeah, like I'm probably 10, 15 to so like make sure I'm there or kind of thing. I wake up in the morning ready to play. So then, I mean. If it's one touch or two touches, I'll be ready, no matter what. How was it like having Michael Vick out there today? It was awesome. You know, every time you hear words from a person like that, a, a mogul, it's, it's great. And knowing Mike from before, just to, you know, catch back up and talk to him was great. What's it like watching him Michael? Do you watch him for years? I feel like there's not, like, a player that can say they haven't watched Michael Vick. Definitely. I've definitely watched a lot of his highlights. He would make me, when I was playing quarterback, think I was him, but I know I wasn't. But, you know, it's all right. Would you, there are like some hecklers that are pretty consistently throughout practice. Do you hear them ever? I mean, yeah, we all hear them. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, no. Uh, you know, we just focused on, you know, practice at hand. All right, but like, do you ever like, when you hear it, do you actually, do you just hear the like white noise or do you hear like what they're saying? Like, Oh, I'm not listening that much into it. Okay. Yeah. I think you played two preseason snaps last year. Do, do you think getting a few more would help, or is that not something that you really need? How do you view like what you're getting out of the out of these preseason games? Um, I'm just thinking competing. You know, however long we, we do play, and just going out there and getting the win, getting our first win this Friday. Is there a certain kind of, is there a certain number you feel like you need in preseason to be where you want to be for week one? Because like vets go, I'm only checking here, but vets go sometimes say, yeah, I, like, I know I need 20 or I need 30 snaps. So uh, I wouldn't say I had that gauge yet. I just, you know, however long it takes. You feel like you're getting your timing down with, with Marcus and your practices, or how close are you guys to? I definitely think our relationship is growing each day. Just, you know, repetition, like you're saying, just routes on there, 7 on 7 team, just, you know, things like that, just going out and, you know, get, getting, getting your feel for it. You were talking about uh, you know, asking about guys yelling from the hillside too. I'm just curious. Florida, I imagine you guys your practices were close, right? I, I didn't know if you were in you know, situations in games <laughs> where were fans ever close enough where you could hear them yelling something if they were like right behind the bench or something. Um, I would say Tennessee. Tennessee was probably the only stadium. Tennessee and LSU. That's where the fans were the closest. But I mean, it's so much other noise going on. You're not paying attention to that. And you're also thinking about the game, so. No, I, I didn't really listen to those people behind me. Nothing stood out and nothing made you laugh? Or, yeah. yeah, but that's probably not <laughs> appropriate to say. <laughs> does that kind of make you, I don't know, does that kind of juice you up a little bit, make you more like when they're talking or like going out there to like prove them? You know what I mean? Like, does Coach Smith kind of laugh? Like, I like it. I feed off it. Like, what do you? I don't really. Most of the time, I, I just laugh because I'm not thinking about it. I'm just, they're there and I'm on the field. So I'm out here to perform. Expecting to play this first preseason game? How, you know, that's the answer for Coach Smith. How excited are you to play this first preseason game? Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm sorry. One of the things that CT was talking about was how good of a leader Marcus is. Um, what does he do that makes him such a good leader? Well, him being the quarterback, you know, he's the core of it. So he just he runs everything, starts everything, and when he may see us, you know, maybe slacking off a little bit, he's picking everybody back up. So. And that's just something that we see on a consistent daily basis. Has he been really vocal early on with you guys? I would say he's about a mixture of vocal and just lead by example. Just everybody kind of just d picks up his energy and does you know, picks her up yourself. How do you feel like, um, Jeff kind of asked you this, how do you feel like the connection is growing? What do you do to make that connection grow throughout training? I will say just reps. Just, just repeatedly doing reps with him throwing the ball. We talked about Marcus and Desmond being able to run. He's a 
Matt was as well. He wasn't trying to take a shot at Matt. But just how different is it for quarterbacks that can run um, when they need to win? I would, I mean, it's like I said, you know, they're two different players. So Marcus kind of has a different playing style than Matt, and, you know, he can extend plays a little longer, and it's, it's pretty cool. Obviously, you're sponsored by the, but how many pairs of Jordan Freeze do you have? <laughs> I have a lot. How <laughs> uh, ballpark? Maybe around 20. 20? Yeah. Are they all, do you, do you have certain things that you want to practice versus games, or like, how do you It can them? vary, depending on how my feet are. Uh, I don't like to really change a whole lot. I don't like to keep breaking any new cleats, so just depending on how my feet are feeling. Those look new. Is, that, is today a break-in day? Or? Uh, these actually aren't new. Really? I've been wearing these since the first day of camp. Oh, wow. So I, I broke them in a little bit, and we'll see. <laughs> they just look so clean, that's all. Yeah, they're, not, they're, not, they're a little dirty, though, a little scrappy. It's all good, though.